Hey everyone, I'm back again. So I'm going to do a quick little video, uh, just for another point that Fanger brought up uh, in his video against me. JT does claim Jesus said he was God the Father. Um, he's again, he's uh, trying to quote unquote refute the, my video. I did proof that Peter Ruckman taught the correct view in the Godhead. Of course, he doesn't even deal with anything Peter Ruckman says. Surprise, surprise. But anyway, I'm giving some additional th uh, statements here. And I'm showing you know, John 1 1. And so this, this is about 15 minutes into my video. And so this is where he is. And he, he makes this very stupid statement. That, and and uh, he, he has said this in times past before. It, right here God didn't have a body when he created Adam in his image. Okay. So you're going to hear him say it here. The Trinity in the Word was God. Okay, well, how do these two work? Very simple. God representing the soul. You know, God the Father, you know, he's the soul, and the Word is that flesh. The word was that flesh. He's yeah. saying the word had, was always existing as a body. Yeah, I am. He's a nut. Fine Bell is a nut. Hey, thank you. They want you to believe that God was always existing with a body. That the word was flesh. When in fact, the word, the, the body was created for the for for uh, uh, for the second person who's made it. Sound it out, okay? You know, this guy, this guy is just nuts. Let me just show you some quick scriptures here, real quickly, just proving that yes, God did have a body. You know, Isaiah six verse one: In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw, I, I saw also the Lord singular sitting upon a throne, one single throne, high and lifted up, and it, and his singular train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims; each one had six wings. With, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Gee, that sounds familiar. Um, I'll get back to that verse a little later on here. The post of the door moved to the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And again, we know the King is Jesus. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a, a live coal in his hand, which, had, which he had taken from the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched my, thine lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. So listen to what, what was said here. And I also heard the voice of the Lord, singular, okay, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will, and, and who will go for us? You know, See, look, persons, you know, just, just hold on, we'll get there. Then said I, Here I am, send me. So let me keep reading here. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this, pe of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, just like finagers, you know. <laughs> Lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Let me go to the tie in here, John chapter 12. Verse 37, but though he had done so many miracles, just again, talking about Jesus here. He, but, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. That the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which, which he spake, Lord, who had believed our report, and to whom the arm of the Lord hath been revealed. I'm pretty sure this is Isaiah uh, 65, I think. Uh, Therefore they could not believe, because, as, because that Isaiah said again, quoting from Isaiah 6, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory, his, and spake of him. Isaiah, look at that. Isaiah saw Jesus. You know, yeah, crazy, I know. So when you read in Isaiah 6, that, yeah, he saw Jesus. This is a Jesus sitting, you know, the Lord sitting upon a throne, you know, in his glory. You say, well, doesn't it say who will go for us? Gee, well, hey, everyone, what's that sound like? Uh, Genesis chapter 1, you know, we're, we're about to go there. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And, uh, you know, right there, So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created him. And man, fem man, female, he created he them. It's not three separate persons, okay? God is one person consisting of a body, soul, and a spirit, and they can communicate with each other, you know? That's all that's going on there. That's the, that's the who will go for us, you know? You know? You know, mind-blowing, I know. Another one, Ezekiel chapter 1. And above the firmament that was over over their heads was, was the likeness of a throne. Again, just, just like Isaiah saw. As the appearance of a sapphire stone upon the likeness of the upon, upon the likeness of the throne was the was was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. 
you know? And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it, and the appearance of his loins even upward, you know, loins, hey, as a body, you know? And the appearance of his loins even downward. And I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had, and it had brightness round about. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day rain, so is the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. You know, physical body, people. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake, you know. This is talking about Jesus for crying out loud. Let me tie this in for you. Revelation chapter 4. Okay, so, John, he's taken him into heaven. And he, and he that sat on the throne, you know, again, and, and one, one sat on the throne, one throne. And he that sat... And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, the sight like an emerald, just like we kind of read in Ezekiel there. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. They had on their heads the crowns of gold. You can just kind of you know, skim down here, just again, you can read all this. Verse say, and the four beasts had each of them six wings, wings about them, and they were full of, full of eyes within, and the rest... And they rest day nor night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. These these are the seraphim right here. That's what they're saying. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Why is that significant? Chapter 1. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. That's Jesus sitting on the throne. That this was his former glory. That's why it says, let me show you in well, I'll say this first here, John 1, because see, this is great, this is Finger's great proof text here. And the Lord was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we held his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Yeah, the flesh here is talking about the incarnation when he, when he, was, when he was born of the Virgin Mary, you know? Philippians chapter 2, just to prove this to you. Let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon, took upon him the form of a servant, that corruptible flesh, and was made in the likeness of men. So he already had a body, you know. But now it got it went from it went from his glory to a corruptible man, then after 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 he was resurrected from the dead, he returned to his former glory. Another one, Exodus chapter, where is this one at? 24, I think. Yeah, here we go, yeah, we'll start here. Exodus 24, verse 9, Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and, and, and uh, Abihu, and, and 70 of the elders of Israel. And look at this, and they saw the God of Israel. They saw God, wait, I thought, I thought John says no man has seen God at any time. And there was under his feet, a hey, feet, you know, a body, as they were paved, as were paved work of sapphire of a sapphire stone, just like we read, you know, in Revelation four. As were the the body of heaven, you know, in its clearness. And and they all and they all also they saw God, you know, they saw God, you know. That's why again, that's why again, I don't understand. So you're saying, okay, well, how does this work? Should there be a contradiction? John John one eighteen says, no man seen God any time. Yet this is saying they saw God. Well. Very simple, everyone. Let me explain. Colossians chapter one, who is the image of the invisible God. That's why. That's why no man has seen God at any time because he's invisible. He's the soul of the Godhead, and Jesus is the body. You know, the Word. He's the image of the invisible God. But because it's all one person, you can call those those three different things. You know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You can all still call them God. That's why in Hebrews chapter 1, 1, 1, 8. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, O God. Guess guess what? The soul and the body can't communicate, which I just showed you earlier in Isaiah. It's forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. That's what's going on there. There's not two separate persons. But you see what I'm saying? This guy is basically, what he's teaching is, he's teaching that Jesus Christ is a created, is, is a, is a created being. Without saying the words created being. No, God, God has always existed eternally with a body. You know? I mean, just brain dead. That which that, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. The life was manifest, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and she will, and she will unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. 
So, yeah, there you go. Just, I mean, just insane. This guy is just an absolute, just heretic. So, whatever. There you go. Jesus Christ, um, you know, God clearly had a body, you know, in eternity. It wasn't created, you know. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. God bless you all. And again, just stay away from, from, from this Dell-possessed freak.